I can usually make my thumbnails in less than five minutes. It's like a competition with myself. Once the video is finished, I will start that uploading to YouTube. And while that's happening, I will settle on my title, my description, my tags, and I'll get into Canva and create my thumbnail and have it downloaded and ready to go. Now I wanna show you exactly how I do that. On my computer, in my browser, I go to canva.com. And once there, once I'm logged in, I will see all the projects that I've worked on before listed below. Uh, but what I wanna do is I wanna start with a new one. I can click on this YouTube thumbnail option right here. But if you don't see that as an option, simply go to custom size and type in 1280 by 720 and click on create new design. Now, we want to start with the background of our design. I always go to the video I'm making a thumbnail for and I grab a screenshot from that. So let's open that video. Let's make that video nice and large. And now we just scrub through it and look for a nice image that we think would make a good thumbnail. And you wanna keep in mind where you're gonna put text, okay? So in my case, I want the text to be on the left and myself more on the right. I can make myself more on the right in a minute and I'll show you that, but let's just go with this one. Uh, now I wanna grab a screenshot. On a Mac, you go con Control or Command Shift 4, brings up the crosshairs, and I'm gonna click and drag corner to corner, release to grab my thumbnail. Let's get the video out of the way. Grab the thumbnail from my downloads folder, and here it is. Now, I'm going to fill the canvas with this thumbnail, like this. Uh, let's adjust the zoom. Now to put myself a little further over to the right, I can simply drag a corner like this. Okay, and I can move this around wherever I want. That's probably good. All right, now let's go ahead and add text. Click on the text button here and click on heading. Let's make this a little bit bigger and type in our text. Just the first word is what I do. I'll move it roughly where I want it um, I'm going to highlight it and change the font. Uh, we can click and drag this so it fits. Let's left justify that. Um, let's, let's actually change the text to you. You can do this is what I want to do. <laughs> so, but before I fill out the rest of it, uh, I want to add a drop shadow. Good thing to do if as part of your text is going to be on a light background if your text is also light. So white on blue, eh, I think it'll look better with drop shadow. So let's go up to effects and click on shadow. And let's change the color to black. Oh, well, here, black here. All right, and boost the transparency. There you go, and I can click and move that and make this a little bit bigger. You can see the nice drop shadow there. Um, you can also type in the size here, the font size that you want. Let's say if you just want 120 exactly, you can do that. Okay, so now once we have the text looking the way we want it, let's fill out the rest of our text. I'll go Command C, Command V to copy and paste that. Double click, change the text. Command C, Command V, double click, do this just like that. Let's make this, stretch this out so it all fits on one line. All right, now we can hold our shift as we're selecting all these. Right click and click group. Now I can actually adjust the size all together like this. Let's just put that right there. I think that looks good. Now, another trick here, and for this you're gonna need the paid version of Canva. Everything I've done so far is the free version. You could just download this and you're good to go. But what I like to do is do a little bit of an enhancement. And what I'm gonna do is with the background selected, Control C, Control V, I create a copy of it and line it up in the same place. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to Background Remover. Again, this is only a paid, uh, uh, the paid version, something you can do in the paid version. So that, it uses AI, it removed the background. As you can see here, the background is gone. So now what I do is I will go into Edit adjust, and I'm gonna boost the brightness. This, again, is only boosting the brightness of myself without the background, okay? So let's just boost that a little bit like this. 
Come back out here. You can see I'm now partially hiding this, this text here. We can fix that. Go to Position, click on Layers, and I'm just going to move the text above myself here, and there we go. And that's it. Now, to download this, all we do is we go Share, click Download, uh, and we've got our size here, and click on Download. That's it. Another tip that'll help speed things up for you is if you reuse the same project in Canva. So you saw me create my thumbnail. What I can do next time is I can open that same project and add another page, basically. I can add more thumbnails into the same project. And the way you can do that is you can actually copy and paste a previous thumbnail. That way you're starting basically with a template uh, with the text already there. You can just double click and change the text but the font and the font size and the drop shadowing, all that is already there so you don't have to redo that every time. My next tip is the text placement. Uh, I prefer to have it to the left and also raised up off the bottom, either in the middle or the top. And the reason is because a lot of times when thumbnails are displayed, the title of the video will be overlaid on top of the bottom of the thumbnail. And that might cover up any, any thumbnail text that you have. Also, the time duration of the video is sometimes located overlaid on, the, on top of your thumbnail at the bottom right. Okay, so for those reasons, I like to keep my text raised up and typically over to the left. Not always, but it's a good practice to follow. Drop shadows are great because if you add a drop shadow to your text, then you can have that text on both a light and a dark background. Some backgrounds will have a combination of colors, uh, some light and some dark. So if you have light colored text with a dark colored drop shadow, that will allow your text to be seen no matter what the background is. And also with text, it's really good idea to have different text on your thumbnail than you have in your title. Don't feel like you have to put your title text in your thumbnail as well. That's kind of redundant. Uh, it's your thumbnail and your text together that people look at to decide whether or not they're going to click and watch your video. And finally, simple is better. You want to keep things simple. You don't have to get complicated with flashy graphics uh, or effects or things like that. Uh, simple is definitely better and it's faster to make simple thumbnails as well. The only little more complicated thing I typically do, as I showed you in my video, is I, I will add some brightness uh, or modify, um, after removing the background, I'll add some brightness to me uh, if the lighting was not ideal in that video. So those are my tips. If you can follow these and do what I did in Canva, you too can make your thumbnails in less than five minutes. Thanks guys, if you like this video, you know what to do, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.